Hey there, my name is Katie Hunt and I am an animal trainer for San Diego Humane Society where we have the wonderful opportunity to do behavior modification for animals prior to releasing them for adoption. It's such a great and special position that we have here to work with these animals and give them a chance where they might not have a chance to work on this behavior in other shelter environments. Today we're going to be highlighting some of our adoptable animals, starting with Ruby, who I've had the pleasure of working with for the past two months. One of my favorite things about Ruby is that she is such an intelligent and special dog, so she is highly trainable. We're looking for a low traffic environment and somewhere with a secure and private yard. She shows up motivated every day and it's just such a wonderful part of my day getting to work with her. This handsome guy is Casey Jones, who I've been working with for two months, and he's looking for a quiet home where he can be the only cat, the center of attention. We've been working on petting and handling at a level at which he's comfortable and using positive reinforcement. He's a really lovable guy. He greets you every morning. Once you open the door, you hear him meowing and rubbing up against the kennel bars. He's also the most handsome resident, I think. This guy is Toby, who is one of our current Behavior Center residents. Toby was originally enrolled for shy fearful behavior as well as aroused and impulsive behavior. So what we're working on with him now is to engage with humans in an appropriate manner. We're trying to find appropriate outlets for his excitement and his energy. So we're providing him lots and lots of enrichment daily. Toby enjoys his regular walks. He is actually really wonderful as a walker. He's super wonderful, super rewarding to work with. He's a very smart guy. My name is Rachel. I'm a trainer here at San Diego Humane. Um, today we're looking at Spike, who is one of our fearful cats, one of our shy cats. Um, he was originally an owner's surrender back in December um, and was having a hard time on the adoption floor. So he was enrolled in our behavior center and came over here where he has a much bigger space. And we have been working very consistently on getting him a, a very steady routine. He's come a long way. Uh, he's now available for adoption, looking for a very kind of quiet home. He really just kind of likes to hang out. 